we 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 grew up knowing BS, man. We grew up not knowing who the hell we were. And and it took for us to die and be raised in, in corruption, man. Alright? And on a twofold, we are born into this this wicked world, and when we pass on, we we become celestial bodies. Alright? We become incorruptible bodies because you can't kill you can't kill a spirit, man. You cannot kill a spirit, okay? So when, when people pass on, uh, you know, they, now they're in their right mind, man. They're incorruptible, okay? And also, um, you know, according to this truth, we have to we have to die. We have to kill off that uh, those things that made us corruptible beings, man. All right? Because the, the truth is incorruptible. All right? It says it is sown in dishonor and is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness and raised in power. It is sown a natural body and is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. All right, and that spiritual body, like, like I said, is, is when like uh, being a celestial uh, celestial being, man. All right, we are raised raised uh, carnally. All right, we're raised in these these vessels. All right, according to the book of Jude, the first chapter, a uh, Jude uh, verse uh, seven. Or five, five and six, all right. We are in these chains of darkness, man. Being this flesh, all right. But when we pass on, and we, you know, uh, when the Most High takes our spirit out of these these vessels, are right, we become a celestial being, man? All right. We we become a. An, it's, it's it's different. Um, it's different bodies, man. Pretty much what I'm saying. And and that's a spiritual body. To have a spiritual body, is is to um. You know, to be in a spirit world, ultimately. The third heaven with the Lord, man. It says, um, and and so it is written. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit, all right? Because we, we are all living. Everybody that's walking around, you're living, all right, physically. But you're not, you know, you, you, your spirit's not quickened, man. And I'm going to get this word quickened just for the edification, all right, this is proving that when we come into this truth, all right, I mean, before the truth, when we doing what we want to do in the world, and then when we come to this truth, the Most High quickens our spirit, all right? And he quickens our spirit by way of by way of Scripture, man. Okay, uh, this word, let me get this word quickening, all right? Strong's G twenty two twenty seven Zoa Poyeo Zoa Poyeo. Okay, and it means to produce life, uh, to produ to produce alive, beget or bear living young, to cause to live, make alive, give give life by spiritual power, to arouse and in uh, invigorate, to restore to life, to give increase of life, thus a physical life. All right. All right, metaphorically, it says, of seeds quicken unto life, ger uh, germinating, springing up, growing, all right? Which is pretty much getting, in, uh, knowing the knowledge of life and death, man. And that's that's what that's what happened in the garden with Adam and Eve. It wasn't no, no apple, all right? It wasn't no goddamn, no pear or watermelon or whatever they say, uh, say today. It was actually knowing the difference between good and evil. Life and death, man. All right, that's what made them naked because they were now they know they know uh, the difference between life and death, man, or good and evil. All right, and ultimately, in this, in this, when you get into this truth, you know the difference between good and evil, and you and you grow in the knowledge of the Most High. That's why I said earlier that all not all have the knowledge of the Most High. All right, when you have the knowledge of the Most High, the Most High has quickened your spirit. All right, you are living. But you want you ain't living, man. You can living you you can live and not live, and that's being the two third, man. That's not following the law, statutes, and commandments. That's not having the knowledge of good and evil. That's not executing judgment. All right, that's that's living and not living. But doing doing those things, executing judgment, teaching the uh, difference between good and evil, teaching the truth. All right, that's that's a quickening spirit. As long as you're doing it sincerely, man. All right. So it says, uh, reading on, how be it, that was not 
Uh, Howbeit that was not first, which is spiritual, <clears throat> which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual, because we weren't born spiritual, man. We were born, we were born a holy people, but we weren't born spiritual, carnally into this world. We weren't born spiritual, man. We were born natural. We were taught the natural things of life. We were taught the natural way to live. We weren't taught the spiritual way to live, which is by the commandments of the, of the Most High, man. We weren't taught those things. It says, uh, the first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man, uh, the second man is the, uh, the Lord from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they that are earthy. And as is uh, the heavenly, such are they also that are, that are heavenly. All right, and that's twofold, man. All right, because we are earthly, earthly beings. You have an earthly being just being humankind. And you have an earthly being being a, uh, somebody who don't, um, who don't follow the laws, man. And you have a heavenly being, uh, which is, like I said before, the, the, the angels, man. All right? Those are the angels. And and the uh, the flip side to that is us that come into this knowledge, we become heavenly, man. All right? Because we're following the things that, the, we're following the orders that were given from heaven, man. It says, and as we have borne the image of the earthy, we also shall bear the image of the heavenly, all right, which is going out on the highways and the byways and teaching, all right. That's bearing, we're doing the same thing of the, the holy prophets, man. All right, we're doing the same thing that Yahweh Shai was doing, man, which is telling people about themselves through, you know, through the word, through the Lord, man. All right, through our, through our heavenly father, man. All right, that's bearing the image of the heavenly. We're not letting we we not letting um, none of these scriptures go to waste, man. As some do, or let sit, let let their Bible collect dust. All right, we we're not them type of people. We we bear the image of the heavenly, man. The image of Paul. All right, the image of Isaiah, Jeremiah, Maccabees. All right, Baruch. Okay, uh, um, you know Moses. You know our forefathers. You know we, we bear the image of the heavenly, man. But th this is where it gets physical, okay? This is where it's actually talking about us being um, being celestial bodies, man. It says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither, the, neither doth corruption inherit corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We, uh, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And that being changed is going from uh, terrestrial to celestial. From carnal to heavenly. Alright. It says. In a moment. In the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound. And the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall all be changed. We shall be changed. Alright. Which is. You know us. Getting our celestial bodies man. Our heavenly bodies. Because right now. To, to be in the flesh is a is a curse man. To be in the flesh is a vexation. A vexation of your spirit. That's in it man. Okay, but according, like I said, according to the book of Jude, uh, about, this is this is what we got being in these chains of darkness for not following the commandments, man. But at the twinkling of an eye, it said we shall be changed and we're going to be changed into heavenly beings. So the uh, the dogma that the so-called white man puts out there that they're aliens, all right, actual aliens, all right. And when I, when I say aliens, the, the, the ones you see in the movies, the big green head uh, big green head niggas, all right, shooting laser beams. Which the Most High, uh, Salaki, Yahweh Shai is going to come back in the chariots and he's going to be shooting laser beams out them chariots, man. Okay, so that that dogma that the so called white man puts out there that they're aliens is bullshit, man. Because we we were aliens, all right, and it, we, it wasn't talking about niggas, uh, fucking. Big green head monsters, man. When it says we're aliens, we were in strange lands because the Most High scattered us through the four corners of the earth. We were in strange lands and we didn't know our heritage, man. And this, it, we, you have aliens in America, man. Of the nation of Israel, of the nation of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't know who they is or don't want to know who they are, man. All right? So um, I'm going to wrap it up there. And um, no Lord willing, Lord willing, the edification flow, you no know, through the spirit, man. 
with that being said, I want to say Shalom.